There are 26 letters of the English alphabet, but there are 44 sounds in the English sound system. And today we will be looking at the 44 sounds of the English sound system, not in details. We'll be introducing ourselves to the 44 sounds of the English sound system. And when I say 44, I don't want you to be scared because these are sounds we use every day in our daily conversation. Hello and welcome back again to Exercise Academy. My name is Esther. Before we get started, I would like you to connect with me on social media, subscribe to my channel if you haven't and follow me on other social media. Now today, like I said, we'll be introducing ourselves to the English sound system. I wanted to know what the sounds in the English sound system are all about and the, we'll be looking at the British pronunciation, which is the received pronunciation. So as I say the sounds, I wanted to repeat after me. This is the first of its series, so we'll look at them one after the other and I'll place the link in the description box. And also, I'll try and place the card above here so you can click it easily. Now, the English sound system has 44 sounds. And these sounds are divided into vowels and consonants. We don't like the alphabet. We have 26 letters of the alphabet and we have 21 consonants and, and 5 vowels. So, in the English sound system, we have 44 sounds. We have 20 vowels and we have 24 consonants. Let's begin with the vowels. Now these 20 vowels are besides regional variations because in some dialects they have more vowels but this is the standard British pronunciation so we have 20 vowels here. Now these 20 vowels are divided into two. Again we have the monotongs and the diphthongs. Now, monotones are also called pure vowels, and they are 12 in numbers. They are sounds of one quality. They are sounds produced with the tongue in one position. The tongue doesn't move, okay? And monotones are divided into two again. We have the short monotones and the long monotones. The short monotones are seven, and the long are five. Now, I have example of the monotongs here, few examples, not all, because I said we'll have a series of this, so I'll, we have a video where I'll teach you all about the monotong, so you can know it in full, and I'll also teach you all about the diphthong. This is just an introductory class, we're learning, introducing ourselves to the English sound system. Now, these short monotongs are short because when you're producing them the time spent is short for each sound i'll give you the corresponding symbol you, um, from the international phonetic alphabet so we have it here and here in red okay so let's look at some of the short mono songs and you'll find that it's a sound or these are sounds you use every day in your speech so it's really nothing special just that you should try and pronounce it well Make, sh make use of your tongue and your, the shape of your lips, okay? We have the sound A, A in this word, pits, pits. We have word like pink. We have everyday word like sits. So it's a word, it's a main sound for letter I, the short I sound, A. So you use it all the time. Then we have A, ah, A, ah, the short A sound, A, ah, A ah in pat. And the common example we have is apple, a uh, as in apple. So that a uh, is this, a, uh, okay? Then we also have o, o in this word, put, put. I wrote this down because some of my students miss this with who, who, this sound is not who, it is o, you have it in put. So you don't say put, you say put, neither will you say pool, you say pole okay this is just an introductory class let's look at the long mono song now the long mono song has five in numbers we have five and i just have three here for you these are long sounds the duration spent in this sound is long longer than the short sound and this sound also have length mark 
so this colon you have the two dots is called length mark it shows you should produce the sound longer spend much time in producing the sound e e the main sounds for letter e the long e sound e as in beat then we have ah as in bark and we also have all as in boards so when you're producing this sound you find that, that the shape of your lip changes it could be round or it could be spread e or even neutral eh? so that's one thing with vowels when you're producing vowels be conscious of the shape of your lips okay now the second part of the vowel i told you vowels are 20 now we've looked at the 12 monosongs now the eight diphthongs diphthongs are naturally long sounds so we have eight of them and I'll just look at a few examples a the long sound of letter a a as in play play then we have ow ow as in sound sound and a like the air you breathe in a as in fair fair okay now looking at so we are filled with the 20 um vowels and you find out that the vowels are easy okay now let's look at the 24 consonants they are 24 in number and they're easier than the vowels because we have them in the alphabet okay so we have the 21 consonants with 24 consonant sounds it's just that some of these sounds you have um them as diagrams consonant diagrams where you have two consonants you come together produce a sound okay like this now is p the sound for letter p p in please we have sound for letter s in sleep and we have this j we have d j you have two consonants d j j j in just just okay this is just an introductory class we have the full videos on this so i wanted to watch out for the video on the english sound system on vowels and consonants okay thanks for watching today's lesson i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you've learned a lot i wanted to stay tuned for more videos on the vowels and the consonants because next we'll be having a lesson on vowels and after vowels I will also teach you consonants. I would like you to be with me. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Till we meet again next week, stay safe, stay tuned. Let's go prepare next class. Bye.